In the past few years, we have seen increased attacks against schools focusing on ransomware and data disclosure. Recent studies have shown that there has been a 57% increase in the volume of cyber attacks in education globally. This can result in hundreds of days of missed school and tens of thousands of school records exposed, not to mention the financial burden when trying to recover. Is your school district prepared for when an attacker takes control of your network? With SciSim, you can bring together your staff, decision makers, teachers, and others to walk through a realistic cyber attack based on your situation. The SciSim staff will design a scenario tailored to your school. Two groups will drive the game, the IT group and constituent group. The IT group can be a mixture of your IT staff and the SciSim staff, or just the SciSim staff. The constituent group, played by the SciSim staff, consists of attackers, IT support, parents, other teachers, the press, and any other position to make the scenario fit your needs. This allows us to create a dynamic scenario that will exercise your ability to react and adapt when confronted with a similar situation. Let's walk through how a typical exercise might play out. The exercise starts with a briefing, explaining that this game's goal is to walk through a cyber crisis involving your school. The game is designed to present worst case events in a safe space, designated to helping you plan and prepare. There are no clear correct answers and no mistakes, only learning opportunities. After the briefing, the game starts with the players in simulated environments, such as classrooms or offices. At the heart of the game are the defenders and adversaries that control the cyber attack and mitigation, thus setting the game's pace. Once a cyber event occurs, the players will be notified of something wrong. SISIM will be equipped with video walls and software systems that will provide situational awareness, like showing news feeds, IT status, or that your website has been compromised. As the game progresses, the SISIM staff will assume different roles, such as concerned parents, school board members, press representatives, law enforcement officers, and additional school staff. The players will not know the questions or what groups they will interact with beforehand. Sometimes this will be driven by the players' responses during the game. The players collaborate and apply their knowledge as they work to mitigate the cyber threat effectively. IT staff implements incident response protocols, administrators communicate with parents, and teachers ensure the continuity of remote learning. After concluding the game, the players will gather for a debriefing session, discussing lessons learned and the importance of continuous training to strengthen cybersecurity practices. There will be videos to watch and discussions consisting of after-action reports. Play the game. Protect yourself. This is SciSim.